Hi, students and kiddos at home or with family who are used to being in school every day. I thought it would be really fun to read a book to you that I wrote. My name is Monica Brown, and I'm a writer, and I'm also a teacher, though I teach great big kids at the university. And I wrote a book, and a lots of other books too, but the one I'm going to share with you is called Marisol McDonald Doesn't Match. Marisol McDonald No Combina. And I want to share it with you in case you're at home or feeling bored and want to have a story told to you by the author who wrote it. So this is a work of fiction. Do any of you know what fiction means? It means that it's not real. It came from my imagination. Do any of you know what nonfiction means? I've written a lot of nonfiction books too. They're based on real people like Pele, el rey de fútbol, Pele, the king of soccer. This story, however, is from my imagination, but it's inspired by my own life because like Marisol McDonald, I grew up speaking two languages, English and Spanish, and I have a mother who was born in South America and a father who was born right here in the United States. So I'm going to read this book to you today in English, and then I'm going to make another video and I'm going to read it in Spanish because I like celebrating two languages. And I think we should all be learning as many languages as we can so that we can talk to more people in our beautiful world. So this is the story of Marisol McDonald and why she gets teased sometimes. And I don't know if any of you have ever been teased have you? Is it fun? I don't think so. So let's see what Marisol does when people want her to be a little less than her own awesome self. Okay, look at the cover and, whoops, here is the first page. And what do you see about the way that Marisol likes to look at the world? She likes to hang upside down sometimes, and that gives you a hint as to how her perspective is pretty unique. Here's the story of Marisol McDonald. My name is Marisol McDonald, and I don't match. At least that's what everyone tells me. I play soccer with my cousin Pato, and he says, Marisol, you don't match. Your skin is brown like mine, but your hair is the color of carrots. Actually, my hair is the color of fire, I say, and I kick the ball over Tato's head and into the goal. My brother says, Marisol, those pants don't match that shirt. They clash. But I think purple polka dots and green stripes go great together, don't you? I also love peanut butter and jelly burritos. Try them on a flour tortilla. They're pretty darn good. And speaking Spanish, English, and sometimes both. Can I have a puppy, a furry sweet perito, I ask my parents. Quizás, mommy says. Maybe, says dad, smiling and winking. Por favor. Please? My teacher, Ms. Apple, doesn't like the way I sign my name. Marisol McDonald, she says, this doesn't match. At school, we learn to print and use cursive, but not at the same time. But I like the way Marisol McDonald looks. At recess, Ollie, Emma, and Noah want to play pirates. Juan wants to play soccer. How about soccer playing pirates, I suggest. No way, they say, so I end up going to play on the swings by myself. You're probably getting a lot of practice right now playing by yourself, 
But one amazing way you can have fun is by opening a page of a book because then you can be, meet new friends in the form of characters or have an adventure or laugh, depending on what kind of stories you like. After recess, we have art, my favorite subject. I think my drawing surprises my friends. What do you notice about Marisol's drawing? What's unusual about it? Does she have the same perspective as everyone else? Is this a realistic drawing? At lunch, Ollie walks over to me and scrunches his nose. A pita butter, a jelly burrito, he asks. I know, I know, it doesn't match, but it sure tastes good. Body Soul McDonald, Ollie says. You couldn't match if you wanted to. Oh, yeah? I bet I can. The next day, I wake up and decide that today, I, Marisol McDonald, will match. It's a little hard to find clothes that are all the same color. I play pirates with Ollie at recess. But it's not very fun. Why can't pirates play soccer anyways? I have a regular peanut butter and jelly sandwich at lunch and the bread tastes mushy. Does she look happy right now, students? I don't think so, do you? Why do you think she's unhappy? I think it's because she's not being herself. She's trying to be what others want her to be. Even art class is a little bit boring. Students, what can you tell me about the kind of painting and drawing that Marisol is making? Ms. Apple asks, Marisol, what's wrong? This doesn't look like your usual work. I'm trying to match, I say with a frown. Why? asks Miss Apple. I can't think of a single good reason. At the end of the day, Ms. Apple hands me a note. I look at it. I open it and it says, Marisol, I want you to know that I like you just the way you are. Because the Marisol McDonald I know is a creative, unique, bilingual, Peruvian, Scottish, American, soccer playing artist and simply marvelous. And look, she signs it, Ms. Tamiko Apple. And she uses print and she uses cursive because guess what? Teachers can learn from their students too. And I know this because I have been teaching more than 25 years. Can you guess how old I am? Students like to do that when I visit them in schools. They say, how old are you? And I ask them to guess. What's your best guess? Well, I am 50 years old. I am half century old this year. And if you guessed that right, I think you should allow, be allowed to eat ice cream for dinner. When I wake up on Saturday, I put on my pink shirt, my polka dot skirt, and my favorite hat, the one my awalita brought me all the way from Peru. At breakfast, I say, my name is Marisol McDonald, and I don't match because I don't want to. Bravo, says Mommy. Good for you, says Dad. Now let's go to the Humane Society and pick out a puppy. When we get to the Humane Society, there are big dogs and little dogs, dogs with long noses and dogs with smushed faces. There are chocolate colored puppies and smoky gray puppies and puppies the color of caramel. How will I ever choose?
Then I see him. He has blue eyes and brown eyes, one pointy ear and one droopy ear. I walk over and he jumps into my lap and I cuddle him and it almost sounds like he purrs. Marisol, Mommy says, I think we found just the right dog for you. My puppy is perfect. He's mismatched and simply marvelous, just like me. I think I'll name him Kitty. Can you believe Marisol McDonald names her puppy Kitty? Why do you think she does that? Hmm, I wonder. I think... It's because she likes to be different, unique, and one of a kind. Now, I'm gonna do something special and read you the little note. Here's Marisol looking pretty happy that I wrote at the back of the book. I wrote this book because like more than six million Americans, I'm multiracial. I'm the daughter of a South American mother and a North American father and my childhood was spent in a close community of cousins, tios, and tias. People sometimes ask us, what are you? And sometimes even say, we don't match, but we know better. Our mothers told us we are United States citizens, yes, but also citizens of the world. My life, and I bet yours too, is bound up with the history of many peoples, and like Marisol McDonald, I open my arms wide and embrace them all. And you know, there's a story, you might notice that I have freckles on my face. Everyone in my family has freckles. Well, according to one of my tios, his name was Tio Sipi, after Tio Cipriano, uh, the family freckles came from a time my abuelita was stirring a big pan of chocolate on the stove she was born in Pura, and that's where my mom was born and raised. And my tío reached for it, and it splattered everywhere, all over the house, leaving chocolate sprinkles on everyone's faces and toes. And I even have freckles on my toes. Now, that is a fictional story, not a true story. But we like to say we have chocolate freckles in our family. So I hope you enjoyed the story of Mari Sol McDonald and maybe I'll read another story in the future because there's two more Mari Sol books, Mari Sol McDonald and The Clash Bash, Mari Sol McDonald y La Fiesta Sin Igual, and Mari Sol McDonald and The Monster, which is a really fun one, Mari Sol McDonald y El Monstruo. So I hope you've enjoy enjoyed this time together. I'm going to try to record this book in Spanish later today. Be calm and happy and have fun and draw and read. And I hope you get to go back to school soon. Mm -hmm.